Okay. So I started at 8 o'clock this morning. It's now 8 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> so I did the bottom part. My wife, thank goodness, helped me put the dome together and lift it into place. It's, it's not too heavy. It's not bad, actually. Uh, spins really easy. I mean, you see it. A little flick of the wrist and it goes pretty easy. That sits on there nice. Shutter is easier to open from the inside. Let me go back out here. Easier to open from the inside, I should say. And that'll go all the way up past the meridian. You can see to that point there. I could open it all the way, but I really don't want to. Um, I've got a mess to clean up. But uh, it's done. And like I said, everything works real well. I can't see the wind picking this up off of here. It does have, when you're not using it, matter of fact, it's laying around here somewhere. It has, here it is, it's called wind locks, where you can just lock it in place when you're not using it. And I will do that religiously, most likely. Uh, complaints. A lot of twisting and torquing to get the dome pieces in place. Not twerking, but torquing. <laughs> uh, me and my wife had a hell of a time getting some of the screws in. As you can see, I actually use longer screws on a couple. Um, one note, if Next Dome is watching these, you could give us another quarter inch of screws. I know you're trying to save money, but that is just miserable to get some of these pieces in with them tiny screws. I'll probably cut those off because I don't want to cut my shoulder or cut my head on them but there's only three and no matter what me and my wife did we could not get the nut on those three locations four locations I'm sorry there's one over there without using a longer screw it just wasn't it wasn't was not going to reach all the way through now the pieces once you get the screws tight formed together real nicely but you really got to push twist and and really shove to get the pieces in place on some of these. That was the hardest part. And thank goodness my wife helped me because I would never have been able to do it by myself. But the shutter needs some oil, but it works pretty well. Um, I still got to put the shelves in on this, on the inside. And then I'll take a tour around here. All the same, that's the back of the shutter. Got a little seal there to keep rain from blowing up inside there. I don't think this will be perfectly airtight. It'll be satisfactorily airtight. Um, about to see. I don't know. It might be fine. But, you know, I could see I could see some spots where if it was really windy a little bit of water would go in there, but my pier was exposed anyway, so I'll just I'll just keep it covered and keep my uh, equipment covered. But you know, there might there might be eh, it's not so bad. There might be a gap there that if you get a windy, it would have to be in this direction a south wind. I'll definitely keep it pointing south when I'm not using it, north and south. I don't get much wind from that direction. I haven't peeled this off yet. Get the big, big reveal here. Oops, that needs to, dome just spins so easy, I'm amazed. There's the next dome. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. Um, if there was any complaints, instructions, out of a scale of one to five, I'd give them a three. Uh, these are supposed to be metal pieces, according to the instructions. They are not. They are plastic pieces. Uh, I was looking for metal pieces. <laughs> then I found these plastic pieces. I said, well, that, maybe that's it. Um, I think I do have to... I think there's a way to adjust the wheels. I could be wrong. But uh, I have to, I'll put some grease in there. Some silicone or something. And again, the door's a little stiff. And got a bit broken in, I guess. Yeah, but that closes pretty well now. There's some gaps, but I'll have to play with the gasket a little bit. 
All right, five minutes. Give you the tour. I'm gonna put this on my YouTube channel, so if anybody wants to see how to put a next dome together, feel free to ask me any questions. The big problems I run in, I ran into, some screws not long enough. They do give you plenty of hardware. I have leftover hardware. I'm very happy with that. Um, but uh, screws being too short, this gasket was kind of hard to get in place, but it is what it is there. Um, you've got to remember, if you're putting this together, I'm going to point this out one more time because, man, did it cause me trouble. It does not say in the instructions to put these L brackets on before you screw this screw in on the frame. If you do this, please remember to put the L bracket in before you tighten this. Because <laughs> I had to take every one of these back apart to put the L bracket in because it kind of skipped that in the instructions. It uh, had putting that together and then later on showed you how to tie it down to whatever your surface was. I was like, thank you very much. Now I have to redo it. <laughs> but okay, that should be good. Very happy with it. I'm very happy with how it spins. That's just absolutely amazing to me. And I may have to oil some of those a little bit too. Some some creaking, but that's just rubber on plastic, no big deal. But I'm very happy with that. I do have, I'll show you that real quick. That's This is a job for tomorrow. I do have the automatic motor. I gotta take this up on the inside, put the motor, the gear there in place. So when my mount spins, the computer will automatically through Sequencer Pro, I'm hoping, will automatically rotate the dome so the shutter opening stays where the telescope is looking. All right. Have a good day.